Hey guys, today I will be replacing the motor for the Zeus table tennis uh, robot because it seems it get damaged. So I contact the company uh, through Amazon and they answered really, really fast. And I explained the problem and they told me uh, that they were gonna send me um, a new motor for free. So I just got it. And it took about like two weeks uh, for the motor to arrive. So. This is what they sent me. Let me explain the problem. So it seems that when I turn it on, uh, this, this part gets stuck. So I was able to unload all the balls, but I mean, uh, the part that is not working is, you know, like the, the fitting part. So that's the reason I'm replacing the motor right now. So let me show you how to do it. Okay, so first of all, we need to take this out. that's really easy so now we need to take out this part let's see i'm gonna need a smaller tool okay i'm gonna use this and this is going to take me a while so this is the part that you need to take off just unscrew that So now it seems that we need to also unscrew some screws in the back. So let's see. So I'm guessing is this part right here. So let's do that right now. I'm just gonna put this paper here because I don't want the screw to go into a hole. One more. Okay, now I see this part over here. I'm gonna check this. I'm pretty sure I just have to disconnect one of those. I just need to find the, the motor. Okay, now I'm gonna unscrew this part, all this part over here, because I need to access the motor. So I'm assuming I just need to do this. Perfect. Now I can see the motor. Let's see. So just be really careful. Remember that you only need to take out this part like that, okay? That's exactly what I did here. I just took like that. Don't damage the board. Don't damage this. Just take it out like that. So Okay, so we need to take this part over here. This part, we need to take it off. So just pull up real hard okay you see and now we get this parts to get into the motor so we can unscrew this really easily so let's unscrew this part So I just wanted to let you know guys that I'm not a technician or, or anything. <laughs> I'm just a regular consumer. I'm just doing this for the first time, but it's easy. I hope you guys uh, like this video. Give me a like, subscribe. That will help me a lot, especially if you guys uh, plan to buy any table tennis equipment in Amazon. Uh, if you guys use my link, then I will get a, a small commission. So as you can see, I took out the motor and I'm gonna put the new one okay. 
You guys can also follow me on Instagram at Pimpon uh, Training. It would be really nice if you can guys follow me there too. That would be nice. Thank you so much. So I just tied this part. These screws, I just tied them. And now I'm just gonna put this inside. So as you can see, it has like this uh, special shape to make sure that it fits here, okay. Okay, for some reason, uh, this part doesn't want to go as easily inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect uh, the robot and I'm gonna try to uh, move this part, this part, you know, like in another angle, maybe it's gonna be easier for me to put it in. So let's try that. Just went in easily. Now I'm gonna connect the robot. Okay, I just move it. Now I'm gonna disconnect it again and try this again. Well, so much easier. Now that I move it. So the next part is to put this on top of the these screws. This is still, you know, like loosen. So let's do this. That's easy, just with this part. And now I'm gonna fix the back. Hey guys, so last time I wasn't able to finish the video because it seems the problem wasn't the motor, it was actually the controller. So I contacted the company and they sent me a new controller. Uh, it took them about a month and a half because the factory is in China. So it takes time uh, when they send something. So hopefully with this, you know, like uh, the robot start working again. So in the last video, I disassembled everything. So this time everything should be easier. Especially because I see that I just have to connect something behind the controller and that's pretty much it. So let's start doing that. Take this off. And now with this, it's a little bit tricky. I'm gonna need a tool for this. Actually, this is not as easy as it looks. It, it was a little bit hard. So what I did first is I use this tool and I clip here and then I start to lift it up. And then once this was a little bit off, then I took this part and put it, you know, like, and took it out. So now let's see, hopefully this is gonna work. So I connected this in the new controller. Now I just need to close this. Uh, and the way you take this off is just by lifting it up, just like that. So it's not like that, it's just up. Now I'm gonna put this back because I took it uh, last time to take the motor out. So I'm gonna put it back in, it's pretty easy. So 
So I still need to put everything in the back together. But before I, me doing that, I'm just gonna try this if to see if it works. So let's do that. So I'm gonna connect this. Okay. It seems that it's working. Awesome. It's working now, as you can see. It's lifting all the balls up. So I'm just gonna stop it right there and assemble the back. So, okay, this was a little bit tricky. So what I did is just, I cut the net because I wasn't able to, to do it, you know, with the net I assembled and I didn't want to take everything off. So yeah, I mean, it should be fine. Let's try it out. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like my video, subscribe to my channel. Uh, also, if you have any questions, you can always leave uh, the question in the comments. And also remember, if you want to buy any of the products that you see in this video, you can find the links in the description of the video. And that will help me a lot because I will get a small commission if you guys do that. So thank you so much and see you in the next video.